plus. Uh, all you need tonight is your chair, yoga block, TheraBand and hand weights. And we're going to start standing tonight. So we're going to start standing uh, with your feet hip distance apart. I'm just going to turn the palms to the front of the room and I want you to close your eyes. And we're just going to take three deep breaths. And as you are breathing, I want you to slowly just draw awareness to the soles of your feet. So notice all the 10 toes on the earth. Notice the balls of the feet and the heels. And then very slowly just draw awareness through the legs, up to the pelvis, all the way through that torso, through the chest and neck, and all the way up through the head. And then send all that awareness from the head all the way down, back through your body, down to the soles of the feet. And then just slowly open your eyes. Good, bring those shoulders all the way up to the ears and then slide those scapulas down towards the ground. We'll do that two more times. Bring the shoulders all the way up and then slide them down. Good, one more time. <sighs> Excellent. I'm gonna bring our hands just um, uh, kind of where our thighs are. I'm gonna imagine that we're holding onto a ball of energy. I want you to take a little inhale and bring all that energy all the way up to the heart center. Turn the palms and then exhale, just slowly push that energy back down to the ground. Do that again, bring that ball of energy all the way up on an inhalation and then exhale, bring everything down. Good, now we're gonna take a little inhale, bring everything up and then on that exhalation, we're gonna bend the knees and just slowly push that energy away. Good, now lengthen the legs as you bring the hands up to the heart and then bend as you bring everything back down to that earth. We'll do that one more time. I just want you to really feel that energy kind of flowing through, through you internally, okay? So very, very slowly. And then this time we're gonna press energy down into the earth and then sweep the hands all the way up to the sky. Take an inhale. And then exhale, stay standing, but bring the hands down to the side. Good, then we're gonna bring the hands directly in front of us. Take an inhale. Turn the palms to the front of the room. Exhale to the side and then lower down. And again, breathe it all in. Turn the palms and to the side and breathe it out. Good, lengthen. Palms, push out and down. Now we're gonna bend the knees and do that. So inhale to lengthen, palms, push out and then bend to come down. So just a little flow with the breath and your movement, okay? So you can't do this wrong. Just let everything flow like water, okay? Excellent, let's do one more time. And breathe it out, good. Then I'm gonna stay standing and I want you to imagine that that water is floating underneath your arms, okay? So very, very slowly just allow that water to come underneath you. I want you to imagine that you can almost kind of fly off like you could take off. So just feel that energy within you. Okay, you've got three more. Last two. Last one, we're gonna bring those hands all the way up. Take a big, big stretch. Bring the hands to pistol grip and bend those knees, okay? We're gonna draw the torso to the right. Feel a yummy stretch here. Come back up through your center and then to the other side little stretch. Good work. Make your way all the way towards your chair. Make sure the back bit of your chair is uh, facing towards you tonight. And we're going to waddle back to an upside down L shape. We're going to bend the right knee and then lengthen that left hand up to the sky and then just float that left hand underneath. And again, reach and lengthen and then thread that needle through. One more time. Inhaling and then exhaling. 
Good work. Place that hand back down and then we'll do the other side. So bending the left knee, reach that hand up and then thread that needle through. Two more times. Breathe it out. Last time. Let it go. Good. From here, we're going to come all the way back up to that chair. Place your elbows on top, palms together. And just waddle back a little bit. You can bend those knees slightly, but really bring that heart center towards the earth and look down at the ground here. So you're just opening up that back body. Good. And then from here, slowly, just dropping the hands down to the ground. You can keep your knees bent or you can lengthen them if you're feeling really flexible tonight. But remember, the aim of the game is to not lean back in those heels. Keep drawing the tailbone up towards the sky. So I want you to nod the head yes here or nod it no. Just let it all out. Good work. And then we're going to bend those knees and step or jump back to your plank pose. Let's shift your weight forward here. We're going to lower all the way down to the ground. Bring your hands out to either side of your body to make a little M shape uh, with your arms. So the elbows looking up to the sky. Take a little inhale and curl that heart away from the ground. And then very slowly come back down to the ground. Two more times here. Take that inhale. And exhale. Let it go. Let's do that again. Slowly coming up. And release. Good. Now we're going to slide the hands all the way down to the side. I want you to pick up your, doesn't matter which leg, left or right, all the way up. And then you're going to bring that toe all the way over to the opposite hand towards the ground. Now it's okay if that foot doesn't touch the ground, just send it in that direction. So you're just getting a little twist in that spine. And oh, my back just cracked, <laughs> that might happen. And you're going to do the other side. So right leg coming up and over, a little stretch. Good work. Lengthen that leg, lower it down. And then you're going to bring the hands to either side of you and then push back into a child's pose. So you can wiggle your hips from side to side here if that feels nice in your lumbar spine. And I want you to slowly just bring energy all the way down to the ground. So we're going to just get a little bit of grounding tonight. Take that deep breath in and then let everything go. Good work. Slowly making your way to all fours from here. Hands are underneath the shoulder, knees are underneath those hips. You're going to tuck those toes. Take your time coming into downward facing dog. Very, very slowly, just peel the right heel off the ground and press energy down into that left heel. And then we're going to do that on the other side. Press that heel down and just keep pedaling from heel to heel. And then just very slowly take your time pressing the heels into the earth. So I want you to feel like you're pushing the yoga mat towards the front of the room as you draw your torso towards the back of the room. And just feel that stretch throughout the whole body. Good work. From here, bring the feet together. We're just going to stretch out those legs. Right leg comes up to the sky. Bend the right knee. And then just open those hips so you get a little stretch. And if you like a deeper stretch, you can draw that heart center to the back of the room even further. Lengthen the right leg, lower it down. Other side, left leg to lengthen. Bend left knee, open hips. You can lengthen that leg and then lower back down. Good work. Walk back into the middle of your yoga mat. Drop your head and just wiggle your feet out about hip width distance or a little bit wider than hip width distance. Grab hold of the elbows and then just start doing some little figure eights with your elbows here. So you're transferring your weight from side to side. Very, very slowly. And you're just going to drop the hands, flop them forward. Grab that bundle, that ball of energy. Take an inhale and very slowly bring it all the way up to your heart. And then we're going to turn the palms to the ground and push energy back down. And again, inhale, lengthen those legs, hands come to heart and exhale, breathe it out. Do that one more time, breathe it in and then let it go. Good, sweep the hands up to the sky. 
And then we're gonna bring your hands down through center. Good work. Excellent. We're gonna reach forward and grab your hand weights now or your soup cans or whatever you have at home. We're gonna come into your second position. So your feet are about 10 and two on a clock. And we're gonna bring your hands uh, to parallel, but keep your elbows at your rib cage. So tall, tall spine here um, and elbows at rib cage. I just said that, didn't I? <laughs> you're gonna reach the hands forward and then bring them back to the ribs. So reach them forward and back, forward and back. You've got five more of these. Four more, three, last two, Last one, we're gonna bring them back to your rib cage. Turn the palms out to the side, and then bring the elbows in front of your shoulder line just a little bit. Gonna do little pulses up here, tiny, tiny pulses. Good work, okay. So don't grip onto the hand weights or anything. Um, unless you've got the soup cans, you can obviously grip them. You got four more, three, two, good. Turn the palms down to the ground and then bring them down uh, to, to your shoulder line. Get down a little bit lower, okay? You're gonna peel the heels off the ground and then press them back down. Peel, press, peel, press, peel, press, peel, press. You've got four more and three and two. Let's see if we can stay up here. Get down a little bit lower. Pick up your heels a little bit higher. Keep your core strong. Hold for four, three, two. Good work. Wiggle those feet back in. I'm gonna stand in parallel position, bring your weights to shoulder height, bend from the elbows and bend your knees. So you're keeping your core strong here. You're gonna do those little raise the roofers. Roofers, good, you got five, four, three, two, good. Lengthen the arms, bend them. Lengthen, bend, lengthen, bend. Five more, four more, three, last two, Last one, good work. Bring the elbows in, and I'm gonna step back with the right foot. I'm gonna turn so you can see me, okay? Right foot steps back, arms go down, hinge forward. Bring those weights just up above hip height, long, long torso, so keep your head in line with the spine. Uh, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Two little circles. Keep that core strong, tiny circles. Small little circles, and then reverse them. Good work. Now you're gonna hold everything here and pulse up for eight counts. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Full bend now, full uh, L shape, and then lengthen. Bend, lengthen, bend, and lengthen. You've got five more, four more, three, two. Last one, keep those arms long. Draw the shoulders to the back of the room, pulse up for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew, good work. <laughs> We're gonna do the other side. You guys can obviously just stay there. I shall turn. Left leg goes directly behind you, upright spine. Hinge forward from those hips, okay? Neckline is long. Try not to look up at me like this too much, okay? Bring those weights just above your hips. We're gonna see if we can press the weights in towards each other. So keep going, but I'm kind of like pressing in, pressing in, pressing in. Squeezing in those scapulas for four, three, two. Hold it here, little micro bend. Tiny bend, small bend. Small bend, good for five, four, three, two. Keep the arm long, hold it here, pulse up eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Full bend, lengthen. Okay, here we go. You got five more, four more, three, two. Last one, keep those arms long, pulse up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Really good work. Excellent. Place those weights down on the ground. And then we're gonna get our stand up and grab your yoga block. Okay, so grab your chair. We're gonna place that yoga, I can't speak tonight now. Your yoga block on the floor. Okay, so it's in a horizontal. So I want your balls of the feet on the floor and your heels on that yoga block. Bring your other hand up to your ballet fifth. I'm gonna take a little inhale. And then on your exhale, you're going to bend your knees. 
really start squeezing the thighs in towards each other as you get down a little bit lower here. So I'm really wanting you to put energy into that block or your, or your book. From here, keep everything connected, peel the heels off the ground, press them down, peel, press, peel, press, peel, press, peel, press, get down lower. Good, I want you to feel those shakes in those thighs almost instantly. So if you can't, I want you to get down lower. Okay, good, you got four more. Three, two, press those heels into the block. Good work. Now you're gonna tuck your pubic bone under and back to neutral, tuck and release. Tuck and release. Whilst you're doing this, you're squeezing your thighs in towards each other and you're pressing your heels all the way down into that yoga block. Okay, you got four more. Three, two, release. Get down a little bit lower. Can you get down even lower than here? Good, now we're gonna bring your hands into prayer and I want you to shift your weight so you're on a 45 degrees forward. Get down even lower. Good. Pick up one heel, I don't care which one it is, and pulse down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Press that heel down, pick the other one up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it here, get down lower. Even lower than that, bring the hands behind you. We're gonna lengthen those legs, come up, and then get back down. Breathe it out, breathe it in and breathe it out. Good, make sure the knees and thighs are still together here. You got five more, four more. Good, three, last two, last one. Hold everything here. Get down even lower, 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 lower. Press your heels into that block. You're gonna pulse out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good work. <laughs> Excellent. Get rid of your block. And I'm going to pick up, I'm going to pick up your hand weight from here. Okay, so standing in ballet second position, hand weight is in your outer hand. So your feet are about 10 and 2 on a clock and your core is nice and strong. Take a little inhale and then you need a plie from here. Okay. Good, raise those heels off the ground, press them down. Peel, press, peel, press, peel, and press. Five, four, three, two. Last one, press those heels down. Little pulses now. Turn the palm down to the ground and keep pulsing. You got five, four, three, two. Good, now we're gonna very slowly pick up the outer heel and we're gonna turn and pivot to make a 90-90 lunge, okay. From here, pulse down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring that weight up and over, out to second, outer heel is off the ground. Pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take a balance, both heels off. Bring hands to prayer, get down lower. Pick up those heels higher, try not to move forward. Hold for four, three, two, Ooh. shake it out. Good, we're gonna do the other side. So you can pick up your chair, or you can just turn around. <laughs> I can't remember how we started. Oh, second position, good. Feet are about 10 and two. Hand out to second, plie. Good, whack, all right. Now we're gonna turn the palm down. This time we're gonna wrap our inner thighs to the back of the room, nice and low with those uh, knees, okay? For five, four, three, two, one. Raise the outer heel off the ground, turn 90, 90, pulse it out. You can make it harder by picking up that inner heel. Okay, for five, four, three, two, reach that hand up and over, come to second. Good work, good for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two. Bring your hands in. Other heel comes off the ground. Get down lower. Even lower. We're gonna see if we can lengthen the legs, bring the weight up, and then come back down. Bring everything up, and then back down. Good, you got three more of these. Last two. Last one. Hold it down. Can you get up your, get your heels higher? And your hips down lower. 
try not to stick that butt up. Hold for five, four, three, two. Good work. Shake it out. <laughs> Place your weight on the floor. I'm going to come back to your chair in your ballet first position. So, kneecaps are going to pull up. Your inner thighs will rotate to the back of the room. Your hand goes up to ballet fifth. I'm going to bring our outer leg into retire. So the big toe is going to draw a line to the crease of the opposite knee. Keep, whoop, <laughs> keep your core strong. See where your knee is? I just want you to extend the leg directly out from that. So you shouldn't move. Your leg just extends and then it bends. It extends and it bends. I don't want your hips up high like this. Exactly how they were. Just lengthen the leg out and then bring it back. Feel that resistance as you uh, extend and then as you bring it back, okay? You've got three more. Last two. Last one, we're gonna hold your retire. Bring your inner heel off the ground and then press it back down. Peel, press, peel, press, peel and press for five, four, three, two. Last one, we're gonna hold it up here. Keep your core strong. You can choose to finish, or if you'd like to take a balance, let's see if we can take a balance. Woo, no. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do the other side from here. So you can turn that chair around. And whoop, place that chair away from your mat. Pull those kneecaps up, inner thighs rotate out. So other hand is up to ballet fifth, that outer toe, Draws to the crease of the opposite knee. Keep your core strong here. Lengthen, bend. Resist it as it goes out and resist it as it comes back. For five, four, three, two. Last one, we're gonna hold it here. Keep your core strong, raise the heel off the ground, press it down. Peel, press, peel, press, peel, press, peel, press. Good, five, four, whoop, three, two. See if you can stay up here, keep your core strong. If you're up for the challenge, I don't know if I can on this leg either. See if you can take your balance, keep your heels off the ground, and no. As long as we give it a crack, who cares? All right, coming away from your yoga mat, we'll stretch it all out. Okay, so let's bring our left heel towards our bottom. Nice and close. As close as you can. And then we're going to step back into warrior two. So your right knee is bent and your right knee is in line with the right ankle. Good work. From here, I want you to reach to the back of the room. Take a little inhale and then exhale, we're going to do a side angle lunge. Reach to the other side. Breathe everything in, inhale and exhale. Let it flow. Good. This time we're going to take a little inhale. I'm going to flow down to the ground and take a flow. So, chaturanga, upward dog, downward facing dog. Breathe it all out. And take that breath in and that long, slow breath out. Do that again. Breathe it in and let it go. Walk the feet to the middle of your mat, drop the head. Slowly come all the way up to standing. And then we'll do the other side. Uh, which foot? This foot. <laughs> Heel goes to the butt. Tall, tall spine. Make sure your hips are square here at the moment. And you're really bringing that heel towards your butt. All right. Step back, warrior two. So, front knee. Ankle is in line with the knee, okay? We don't go over it, but we do make sure we're in a nice deep lunge. Good, we'll do that on this side. So reaching, coming up, take that inhale. Exhale, breathe it out, reaching to the opposite room. Inhale, and exhale, reach. Good, this time breathe it all in. Let it flow back down to the ground, high plank. Keep your core strong, shift your weight forward. Chaturanga from here. Breathe it out, down dog. And then we'll take a deep inhale and a deep exhale. So let it all out. And do it again. Breathe it in 
and let it go. Walk the hands back to the feet, drop that head, let that head flop around. I'm going to slowly curl all the way up to standing. <sighs> Shoulders up to the ears, down to the ground, all the way up and back down. Great. I'm going to come down onto the floor now. We're going to grab your band all the way down. I want you to place that band around the arch of your right foot. Grab hold of the band with your left hand. Okay, so it's across the body. And what you're going to do is bring that band between your legs. So you're going to look like this, okay? So the band isn't touching the knees or anything. It's through the whole of your legs, all right? And then you're going to come down onto all fours, placing that palm on the band on all fours like so, okay? So I'm going to turn so you can see the rest. So my hand is underneath the left band and the right hand is underneath my shoulders. You're gonna extend the right leg directly behind you. Keep your core strong. Lift the leg to hip height. I'm gonna start doing little circles. Try not to move to one side here. And if you're bend, or if you don't have a bend, you can do this without a bend, no worries. And you're gonna reverse those circles. Keep your core strong. And then reverse it. Good, now we're gonna do a little bend and a press. Tiny bend, press. Little bend, press for four, three, two. Last one, keep that leg long. We're gonna pulse up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it here, little bend and a press again for four and three. Last two, last one. It's pretty tough. <laughs> Let's do the other side. So, grab your band, place it around the arch of your left foot now. Make sure the band is even on both sides. You're going to grab that band in your right hand. You're going to come all the way up, kneeling. That band goes through the whole of your legs. It's touching nothing. It's not underneath the knee like this. It's just through the hole. Cool. Place that band underneath that right hand. Keep your core super duper strong and you're gonna lengthen that left leg behind you. I'm gonna really heavy bend today. Lift that leg to hip height, square your hip. Keep that leg nice and long and try not to move to one side. Little circles here, tiny. Tiny circles coming from that hip socket. Keep your core strong. And reverse. And reverse. Good work, hold it here, little bend and a press, bend and a press, bend and a press for four, three, two. Keep that uh, leg long, pulls up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold, four little bends and presses for four and three and two. Last one, Whew. good work. <laughs> All right, we're gonna come all the way down onto the floor. Keep your band handy. And we'll stretch out your glutes from here. Place that right foot on top of the left knee. And then come to an upright position here. If that's too much for you tonight, you can lie on your back and just do that figure, the same thing, figure four on the floor. So think of that tall spine. Don't have the shoulders up near your ears. Good. And then get lower all the way down and pick that other foot up. Reach and lengthen that torso to the sky. Good work. So you're kind of drawing that knee to the front of the room to get that glute stretch. And release. Grab your fun little band again. I'm gonna come down onto the floor in your tabletop position. So, making sure the band, uh, what are we going to do? <laughs> Let's have a little V-shape with our feet. Okay, so you your little, na little, 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 little narrow V-shape with your feet, like you do when you're standing at the bar. I'm going to move around so you can see me. Lie on the floor. Make sure your heels are connected, your knees are wide apart. Lie on the floor. 
Knees are at uh, tabletop. Bring your elbows down towards the ground. Take a little inhale. On your exhale, top ribs come up over bottom hips. Switch on your core, squeeze your heels together and then lower down. Take that breath in and then sit up and squeeze the heels together and lower down. That is your level one. Level two, you're sitting up, you're pushing the legs out, squeezing the heels together, bringing them back and lowering down. Take a breath in, sit up, push out, squeeze the heels, bring them back to tabletop, lower down. Okay, inhale, breathe it out, push, squeeze, bend and back. You got three more. Last two. Don't forget to work that T-zone. Last one. Good work. Excellent. Keep those feet, uh, feet where they are. I wonder if we can do that. Uh, yeah. Try to bring the hands down by your side without the bend falling off your feet, okay? You've got to kind of get a real good grip on them. Take a little inhale from here. Exhale, sit up. Okay, you're going to do little pulses down. Tiny little pulses. Small little pulses. Good work. Keep pulsing, draw your sternum towards those knees. Keep pulsing down, down, down. Good, breathing. Good work, keep pulsing down for four, three, two, and last one, good work. Knees into the chest, give yourself a nice little hug. <sighs> Great work. Good, from here we're gonna start rocking and rolling all the way up to seated. Excellent. I'm going to come into a little boat pose. So, hands go behind the knees, reach and lengthen that torso to the sky, elbows to either side of the room. Tuck your pubic bone towards your belly button. And we're going to lean back for four and three and two. Last one here. Take another breath in and lean back for one more. Good work. Then bring one leg to tabletop from here. Okay, so. Bring your hands to ballet first. <laughs> I'm just making it up on the fly now. So we're gonna come up, reach that top ribs over the bottom hips, and we're gonna lower down, bring the hands back out to the side. Take an inhale, exhale, hands come to first, leg comes to tabletop, and then bring your hands out. So reaching forward and leaning back. Keep tucking pubic bone to belly button the whole time for four and three. Last two, oh, that's really hard. Last one, good work. Lengthen those legs, bring the hands up to ballet fifth. And then forward fold from here. Drop that head, make sure you're on that angle that I always bang on about. So no rounding through the spine, you know what to do. Reach that heart forward and feel that stretch in those legs. Good. Slowly come all the way up, soles of the feet together, knees bent, but bring your feet a little bit in front of your body. So don't want your heels close to your, to your body. Keep them a little further away. Hands come just underneath the knees and reach that torso to the sky. And then we're gonna forward fold, a little melt down, drop that head. And again, reach and lengthen. Pull on those knees just a little bit. And then forward fold from here. Good work. Slowly coming all the way up. Now we're going to place the right hand on the ground. Left hand comes up and over, side bend. And if you would like to, you can walk the hands out a little further. Turn the palm up and replace with the other hand all the way. Walk those hands out. Oh, it feels good. <laughs> good. From here, bring your hands behind your back, kind of where your kidneys are. Just above the hips a little bit. I was going to say for those playing at home, which you are at home, which is hilarious in, in my head. <laughs> All right, elbows draw towards the back of the room. So you kind of got to just pop your chest out a bit and reach that heart up to the sky and press the hands kind of down to the ground from here. So opening up, reaching that heart up as you bring the hands down, kind of sliding down towards your butt. And look up. Good work. 
Excellent. From here, we're just going to slowly lie down onto the earth. Hands go to the front of the room. I'm going to lie all the way down onto that floor. Stretch the hands to the back of the room, the feet to the front. And then take your time bringing the hands over the head. Close your eyes. And start sending your breath throughout the whole body. So like we did at the start of class, send energy from the head all the way down through to those toes. And really feel that energy come back up through your body. Feel it within you. And just allow it to release all the way through to the crown of your head. And then slowly start to wriggle the toes. Wriggle the fingers. And then start stretching and lengthening the hands towards the back of the room. Bring the feet in towards the chest for a little hug here. Bring the thighs in as close as you can. Roll to one side. And then come all the way up to seated. Just take your time tonight. Hands place on the knees. And just notice that nice length in your body. Notice the breathing pattern. And just notice you. Bring your hands out to either side of your body, palms face to the front of the room, feel that energy. And then bring all that goodness up towards the sky, sweep everything up, inhale. Bring it all the way down through your middle, exhale. Do that again, breathe it all in, look up. And then seal it all in, back to your heart. Slowly open your eyes. And thank you so much. Have a beautiful evening. Namaste.